Hello guys, welcome back to Bike Geek. In today's video, I am going to fix a common issue that many Valorant players face, the VAN 9001 or TPM 2.0 initialization failure error that pops up while launching or playing the game. Let's jump right into the solution without wasting any time. All right, first start with a basic but important step. Click on the start button and open settings. Once you're in the window settings menu, Look at the left hand side and select Windows Update. If there are any updates pending, make sure to click Download and Install to keep your system up to date. Next, you'll want to update your BIOS. There are two ways to do this. The easiest is through Windows Update itself. Scroll down on the Windows Update page and click on Advanced Options. Under that, you'll find Optional Updates. Click on it. Now look under Driver Updates, where you should see a firmware update which refers to your BIOS. If it's available, select it and click download and install. If the BIOS update isn't listed there, you'll need to visit the official website of your motherboard manufacturer. Download the latest BIOS update compatible with your system, install it carefully by following their instructions and then restart your PC. Once you've completed the update, try launching the game again. If the issue's still not solved, then move on to the next step. In the next step, we'll make some changes in Windows Security. First, click on the Start menu and search for Windows Security, then open it. Inside Windows Security, click on the Device Security tab. Here, you'll see an option labeled Core Isolation Details. Go ahead and click on that. If Memory Integrity or Core Isolation is turned on, you'll need to switch it off. This setting can sometimes interfere with TPM initialization, so disabling it is important for this fix. Once you've done that, proceed by clicking on Start Again and type CMD. Right-click on Command Prompt and choose Run as Administrator. Now, in the Command Prompt window, you'll need to run this command. You can find this command in the description of the video. Just copy it and paste it into the Command Prompt and then press Enter. Once it's executed, close the Command Prompt window and restart your computer. Restarting is essential for the changes to take effect properly. After your system restarts, right-click the Start menu again, select Run, and type tpm.msc, then press Enter. This will open the Trusted Platform Module TPM Management window. Here, you should see the TPM status showing something like, TPM is ready for use. Now, from the side panel, click on Clear TPM. You may be prompted to restart your system again, Go ahead and do so. Once your PC restart, click on Windows Start and search for PowerShell. Then run it as administrator. Inside PowerShell, copy this command and paste it in PowerShell and press Enter to execute the command. You'll also find this command in the video description. After running the command, check the output. The value TPM ready must be shown as true, while the other four values should appear as false. If any of them are still showing as true, try restarting your PC once more. After the restart, relaunch Valorant and the VAN 9001 or TPM 2.0 initialization failure error should be resolved. However, if the issue still not solved even after following all the steps carefully, there's a good chance the problem is within the game files themselves. In that case, try uninstalling Valorant completely and then reinstalling it from scratch. A fresh installation often helps resolve corrupted or missing files and hopefully this will fix the problem for you. That's it for this guide, friends. If this video helped you out, don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on the bell icon so you won't miss future updates from the channel. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next video.